So you have to make up every excuse under the sun for why she didn't make the Olympic team, why y'all didn't give her high praise when she first got into the league, why she wasn't the unanimous rookie of the year, why y'all wasn't talking about her for MVP when y'all should have had with all the shit that she did. Y'all be ashamed of yourselves. And now you want to come join Unrival? Unrival is supposed to be coming to recruit Caitlyn. Really coming to recruit Caitlyn to be in, in a league. Almost cursed again. I'm trying to keep it down, guys. But the hell with y'all are robbing league. You can kiss my black ass, the whole ass. And I got a small ass too, so it won't take you that long to do it. <laughs> I was listening to First Take this morning, right? And they did a take on Jerry Jones and the reason why he didn't sign Derrick Henry during this offseason. This man has had three different reasons on saying why he did not sign Derrick damn Henry in the offseason. He said they didn't have the money. He just said this morning, right, that he didn't fit their scheme. They didn't plan on giving him the ball as many times as they, he would get over there in Baltimore because, you know, Dallas run two to three backs over there. And now he's saying that it didn't fit the cap. Which one is it, Jerry Jones? I'll tell you which one it is. It's the one where he don't want that mother... Almost cursed. He don't want his ass. It's the one where he does not want Derrick Henry. Why don't he say that shit? You know, I would respect you a whole lot more if you just came out and said, you know what, I didn't want his ass. Period. We didn't want him. We didn't want him over here. We don't want to deal with people like that. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have felt so much better because this shit makes me... It reminds me of how they treated Caitlin Clark before she even got into the damn WNBA. They were given all of the damn reasons on why she wasn't going to fit. They said that she wasn't good enough. They said that she didn't have enough time to train with the Olympic team. That's why they didn't pick her for the Olympics. They said her game wasn't going to translate over to the damn WNBA. All she does is shoot three-pointers. And she went over there and exceeded any expectation that they had in the damn WNBA. I'd have felt better if y'all just would have came out and said, Kaylin, we don't want your ass. We don't want your kind over here. You're not like us. Y'all remember old girl, the Atlanta Dreams co-owner? She said it. She said that they not like us. What do you mean by they not like us? Because I'm a good basketball player. If I'm Kaylin, I'm like, I'm the best basketball player y'all can get right now. What the hell do you mean? Why, what do you mean I'm not going to be good enough? See, Kaylin couldn't do that. Kaylin has an image to uphold. She got to go over there and say the politically correct answers, right? She's media trained, not chocolate. The hell with that shit. Are you kidding me? Y'all been talking shit about me since before I even got drafted. If I'm her and when I see Dinosaur Tarasi, man, I'm, psh, psh, I'm blowing her ass off. Girl, you talk shit about me before I even got here. Why you do that shit for? You don't even know me. Sue Bird, too. You sit up there and let her talk the shit. Look, your silence is compliance. And everybody else in that damn WNBA who was talking all that damn lip. Look what that girl did. And now you guys are starting a whole new league that starts in January. The Unrivaled League. With Nafisha Kalia and Brianna Stewart as the, the headliners of this damn league. They the ones who put it together. And y'all think Kaylin Clark gonna go over there and play in a league that you two put together when she just left a league where you guys played in and she got used and abused. Now you want me to go play in Unrivaled? Why? Tell me why. You, you, it, it, it can't be because I'm a good basketball player because y'all should have been backing me up when the WNBA season was going on. Now one of the WNBA women in the league came out there and said, you know what? She's having a, a, hard, a hard time right now, but she's a rookie, so we expect this. She will grow in our league. Nobody said that shit. Everybody got on her ass and talked about how sorry she was. They talked about how sorry the team was. They talked mad shit about Kayla Clark, how she's not supposed to be there. And then she turned that shit around after that damn Olympic break, and now everybody's all like, oh, my God, she's the best rookie to ever come into the WNBA, and her, her skill set is da-da-da. We don't want to hear that shit. We don't want to hear it because it's exactly what the hell she did when she was in college. Did you fools not watch her play when she was in Iowa? All she did is duplicate the game that she did in college and put it in the damn WNBA. And y'all knew she was coming. That's what it is. Y'all knew she was coming and y'all didn't want her. So you have to make up every excuse under the sun for why she didn't make the Olympic team. Why y'all didn't give her high praise when she first got into the league. Why she wasn't the unanimous rookie of the year. Why y'all wasn't talking about her for MVP when y'all should have had with all the shit that she did. Y'all be ashamed of yourselves. 
and now you want to come join Unrival? Unrival is supposed to be coming to recruit Caitlyn. Really coming to recruit Caitlyn to be in the NA League. Almost cursed again. I'm trying to keep it down, guys, but the hell with y'all are Robert League. You can kiss my black ass, the whole ass, and I got a small ass too, so it won't take you that long to do it. <laughs> but kiss my entire ass. Get out of my damn, y'all must have lost y'all damn mind. I'm not finna go play in no other basketball league that has any type of association with the WNBA until you go clean that shit up. Cheryl Reeves got her damn nerve to sit up there talking about how the refs officiated that game. If y'all would have won, you wouldn't have said shit about them refs because them are the same refs that help y'all win y'all games. Get out of here, Cheryl Reeves. You kiss my ass. Y'all league has been trash since the very beginning. The officiating has been trash since the very beginning and it has not stopped. You better do something about the shit. We see it now, and we see it because of Caitlin Clark. That damn interview, I wouldn't know nothing about it except if, if, if there was no Caitlin Clark because I wouldn't have watched the damn games. I wouldn't have watched that game to see what I had been missing. I wasn't missing a damn thing. I'm missing Caitlin Clark. Caitlin, bring your ass back, please. Caitlin, come back. Caitlin, come back. I was wrong, and I just can't live with that. Kayla, come back. Okay, I was going off right there. I'm sorry, guys. Look, I just had a, I just had a random in me. I had a random in me. I had one of my, my, my subscribers, uh, Jay, hit me. He was like, hey, man, we're going to make another video. Here you go. Here's your video. And we got more to come. And, guys, I'm starting to do my live streams. Every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. So y'all go check that out for your boy, please. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to become a part of the channel, crew. Hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos live. Appreciate y'all time. I'm out this thing. Peace.